Within the DLL program, you will be asked to develop an e-portfolio, an electronic portfolio, and we will give you the opportunity to refine that e-portfolio process in a course called EDLD 5303, the e-portfolio course. But that um, it might be a few courses before you get to that course. So in the interim, if you don't already have a website or a, a blogging site that you can use, we recommend that you use a Google Doc infrastructure and Google Docs to build out um, your assignments in EDLD 5305, the innovation course. Um, your innovation proposal can be put into a Google Doc. Um, literature review can. All the documents that you want can be put into a Google Doc or they can be linked from the particular Google Doc. Um, so if you do a literature review in a Word or a Pages format and you save it as a PDF, you can link to that uh, PDF document as well. So um, a Google infrastructure a Google Docs infrastructure is probably one of the, your best places to store and organize information that you will then transfer into your ePortfolio um, in uh, when you have time or in 5303. Um, after 5303, all your coursework will go into your ePortfolio. But with 5305, this is your first course. If you don't have an ePortfolio or a website or a blog up and running, Google Docs is your infrastructure, and your week five assignment will look something like this, or we encourage you to develop something like this. You'll create a Google Doc. You'll have a video, a link to your video, which will more than likely be on YouTube or Vimeo or something like that. You'll have some type of a header, and you'll have a paragraph explaining maybe what's in the video, maybe not. Um, then you'll have an innovation proposal section where you've got a paragraph that talks about uh, an introduction to your innovation proposal, and then you've got a link to the innovation proposal document. You'll have a literature review uh, section where you talk briefly about the literature review. You have a link to literature review. You'll talk briefly about your implementation plan. You'll have a link to the implementation plan and then you'll you'll mention your annotated bibliography and you'll have a link to your annotated bibliography so all these items go into this one Google Doc. You've got a summary and then you've got links to the individual documents. The wonderful thing about a Google Doc is that you can then take this information, copy and paste it into your website, into your ePortfolio when you're at that point where you're ready to go. At this stage, this will be enough to satisfy the requirements of the week five compilation assignment where you pull everything together in your innovation plan. This is what you will eventually transfer to your ePortfolio. Now, let me give you an example of what that could potentially look like. This same information that we have here was is currently in an example on uh, the example site. So in this example, we have you know uh, the heading, um, the video is at the top, wonderful video. I encourage you to take a look at this site. Um, this particular student put a, a description uh, before the video. Uh, I recommend you put the video first. You lead with your most powerful item. Um, and then you, she had a, a sentence or two and then a link to the innovation proposal. Um, so when we click on that, it opens up into um, a separate document, right? And then, uh, you know, you're navigating within the site literature review information, you can link to the literature review, so on and so forth. So this is what eventually your innovation proposal will look like on your ePortfolio. But up until that point, you can you can make do with putting all the information into a Google Doc. Now this is a wonderful platform to do this in. I do a lot of work in Google Docs before I move the information over to my website or into some of the other uh, sites that I'm working at. Uh, quite often I'll, I'll flesh out ideas and I'll put my rough drafts into a Google format. It's digital, it's easy to move around, you can copy and paste, and so it's a wonderful starting point. So this would be a great starting point uh, for your week five compilation assignment it's a Google Doc and I'm not going to explain how to use Google Docs because it's very very simple and very straightforward if you don't already have a Google Docs or Google Gmail account get one they're free they're easy to set up and easy to explore and easy to experiment with so um, I hope this has provided you um, an example of how you can make do using Google before you move your information into your e portfolio